guys welcome back to my channel my name is Bianca if you're new so today we're gonna be doing my January wrap-up these are the books I read in January I didn't have a great reading month um honestly I struggled a lot picking up books but I've said this a lot in like another video, but I've decided to give myself grace. I haven't been in a reading mood. Um, well, a book reading mood. I've been reading a lot of fan fiction, but I also read a lot of books last year and I read a lot towards the end of the year. So I think I'm just kind of burnt out. Um, so I really want to be forgiving to myself and understanding and, and to recognize that I'm not always going to read 10 books a month, but in the month of January, I read five. No, I read six. I read six. I read six books. So let's get into those books. The first three books, the first two books I read on my Kindle, um, they were graphic novels. The first one was The Crewman Chronicles Volume 1, The Charmed and the Cursed by Ted Nefei. I first picked up the Courtney Crewman books um, at the end of last year, and this is like an offset series following that one, but this one follows Courtney Crewman and her brother. It mostly focuses on the brother, though, I believe, but I don't remember a lot from these. They were just like fun little, at the moment, graphic novels, and like I said, they do follow the Courtney Crewman series so I don't want to give too much away about how that series ended because this does like almost follow it exactly but Courtney Kerman is a witch she has powers um so this kind of follows the incidents she gets into um so I gave this one I'd say it's probably I gave it a three yeah I'd give it a three um I recently like went through and kind of categorize what each of my stars means and three means I enjoyed it I probably would recommend it um I believe this is kind of like a niche enjoyment book but I don't really have much else to say about it um I also read the second volume which was The Lost and the Lonely uh another three like I said the series is fun um it's easy to read it's quick just and the whole series is on Kindle Unlimited so you can pick them up right there, but I enjoyed it. Um, then I picked up a manga from my library. I got Blackbird Volume 1 by Kinoko Sakura Kauji. Sorry if I butchered that. I gave this one a 3 too. Um, it follows a girl who, as she matured, her blood can heal and give... I think they're demons, like eternal life or something, and she either has to marry them or they kill her and drink her blood. I don't know. But, like, a childhood friend comes back and he said to save her life. I didn't love the series. I was actually kind of bored. I don't know why I gave it three stars. I'd kind of probably give it, like, a two and a half. I enjoyed it while I was reading, but I was really kind of bored. I don't think I'm going to continue with the Blackbird series. Um... But the concept was really interesting. But I really, I don't think I'm going to continue. And then the last three books were books that I physically own. So I have them here. The first one was First Lie Win from Ashley Elston. This was one of my most anticipated releases. And I gave this, I gave it three stars, but I kind of want to bump it up. I probably do like a 3.5 for this because while there were some, in some sections that I was bored with uh overall I liked the story but this one follows what's her name Evie Porter who kind of has like the perfect life she's southern belle lives in the south with her boyfriend who she really enjoys but the twist is Evie Porter doesn't exist turns out Evie Porter's like a not a con artist but she kind of is put in a situations where she gathers information or she takes back um, an art, a priceless object or something. 
but in this case she is living with her boyfriend but this kind of goes between like her present of where she is now and then her past of how she got there and I found most of the past timeline kind of boring and I wasn't really interested in that but I really enjoyed the present and what was happening now so that's probably why I settled on the three three and a half star um would I recommend it probably I would probably recommend it um it's really fun mystery um there are some thriller aspects in it but it's a quick read I finished it all in one day so yeah if you find the plot interesting pick it up I enjoyed it next we have a book that I've had on my shelves for so long but I have not picked up um this is the, the night swim by Megan Golden I really enjoyed this I gave this four stars um it was so good this one follows Rachel Kroll who has a true crime podcast and she's on her I believe this is her second season or is it her third season I believe it's her second season where she's covering a case in a small town and this small town is really divisive it really is a he said a he said she said situation for the town but while she's there covering this case she's also kind of left notes by the sister of another victim from years ago who was also murdered and her case wasn't handled correctly by the local town police so the sister wants Rachel Crawl to investigate her sister's murder so there's also that but I think I really enjoyed this because I think Megan Golden really handled the situation correctly um you get chapters in Rachel's perspective where she's talking about the current case and then talking about investigating the case of Hannah's sister and then you get chapters of from Hannah's perspective where you're listening to her think about the past and what happened leading up to and on the day of her sister's murder and then you're also getting chapters where you get episodes from the podcast so the podcast is called guilty or not guilty and you're getting like the transcript I guess you would call it of what Rachel would say in the podcast so I really enjoyed this again I believe I read it in one day or no I believe I read it in three days but oh no it took me a while because I picked it up read it and then I put it down <laughs> but I really really enjoyed this one um definitely four stars dual highly suggest um but do know that it does cover a rape case so it is a little triggering if that's a problem for you and then the final book I read which I finished on the last day of January is Dark Corners by Megan Golden I did mention this book in my February TBR because I wasn't sure I was going to finish it but I did end up finishing it for January this book follows the night swim we'll say that I wouldn't exactly I guess you could call it a sequel I don't know that I'd call it a sequel because really there's nothing that happens in here that spoils that one um but in this one Rachel Crawl is back she is invited by the FBI to come visit a convicted man who is thought to have murdered some women and then he's visited by a social media influencer and she goes missing so she's invited to talk to him and I just I really enjoyed this there were twists and turns um there was a lot of mystery there was a little romance between Rachel and one of the detectives so lots of fun but I enjoyed this and I kind of want Megan Golden to write another Rachel Crawl mystery I think it's fun and she has like a very interesting um view of social media and I think it's very realistic and I enjoyed that aspect of this too so it's another good one Yep, I also gave this one four stars. I would recommend, I would recommend it. I'd recommend this one too. They're really good. So I read six books in January, which turns out to be like 1,475 pages. Three of them were borrowed. Three of them I own. And my favorite book would probably be Dark Corners because I really enjoyed this one. Um, I enjoyed The Night Swim and I enjoyed 
first line wins, but I believe this was probably my favorite book out of the six I read last month. So let me know what you guys read last month. Um, like I said, these were the three physical ones. And then I read the two from the Crewman Chronicles and Blackbird Volume 1. I do recommend these three books. They're fun. Let me know what you guys read last month. Did you have any favorites? Did you read these three books and enjoy them? Did you have you heard about the Crewman Chronicles? Because I had never heard of it before I ran into Courtney Crewman's volume one at the library. Let me know down in the comments below. Uh, I will link these books in the description. Uh, these are obviously book of the month editions, but you can get them second hand or if you subscribe to book of the month you can add them on as add-ons which is a very fun aspect of book of the month but uh like and subscribe have a great day or night wherever you are and don't forget to pick up a good book bye